Hello and welcome back to another video. I am Louise and this is my assistant dog Leo and we are starting our first week back at uni. So it is currently the night before my first class. I have two lectures tomorrow and a workshop. So I usually um, get ready the night before um, especially when I've got a morning class, which I <laughs> have tomorrow, which will be fun. Uh, so I think I'm just going to get my backpack ready and probably get my lunch sorted for tomorrow. Okay, so this is the setup that I have for my backpack. So I've got my backpack, obviously, uh, my laptop bag, uh, pencil case, um, water bottle for me and then a water bottle for Leo. <laughs> I've got a portable charger, um, it's a bit random but I've got um, juice because if my uh, like sugar levels are really low that is really helpful. This is a reusable cutlery pouch um, and then I've got a collapsible water bowl, food bowl for Leo uh, for you know water breaks which you know, water bottle um, and then I've got an extra bag of kibble in case I need to feed him dinner while I'm at uni or if I need more treats or something like that. So this stuff fits all pretty well into my backpack pretty easily. I also just keep a pouch with medications and just lip balm and random other stuff that I might need. I tend to like to be pretty prepared, it just makes me feel a bit more comfortable and like <laughs> there's going to be less issues if I already know that I've got everything that I need or things like that. And depending on how long we'll be out or what we're doing, I'll sometimes bring a little blanket for Leo to lie on just to give him somewhere to lie keep him off the dirty ground. <laughs> I also find that it always takes so much longer to do anything or get ready for anything when I have an assistant dog. So it's just really helpful to be prepared the night before. And then I will clip my collapsible water bowl onto the outside of my backpack so that after I used it, it can dry off on the outside and not get my bag wet. <laughs> okay, so here is the setup for going up to uni. I have my hands-free leash, um, poop bag, <laughs> got my treat pouch ready, and I'll show you Leo. And here's Leo. He has his blue vest on with his pull strap and he's got his collar and everything. We're ready to go. Okay, so we're just heading off now to uni. I've also got my backpack in the car with me. And Leo's there in the back, so let's go to our first class. I just wanted to note here that Leo isn't actually working, even though he has his harness on. I like to give him a bit of time to sniff and enjoy a walk before he starts working. Some teams operate by being in work mode as soon as the harness is on, but the way we do things is Leo is working when I ask him to. The vest is really just for the benefit of the public to know to give us some space.
we just finished our first class of uni for the semester. Leo's in the back there. <laughs> he did really well. He just laid down and had a little nap for the lecture. So anyway, we're gonna head home. Um, I've got some readings to do back at home and I've got another lecture that I can watch and get ready for tomorrow's tutorial. hard time trying to find a park today so we had to speed walk to get to our class on time. I usually like to sit off to the side or at the back in my classes. That way I can get Leo settled out of the way. And he usually just lies there and sleeps for our classes. After our class, I had to use the bathroom. Then I got some lunch. And here our training with maneuvering really came in handy. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished our second day of classes. We had um, a history class, we did a tutorial. Um, Leo's just in the back there. He pretty much slept through it. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go home now and I'm probably gonna see about doing some readings. I don't have any classes till tomorrow, so I can just go home and relax. My tutorial classes are pretty small, so I'm able to let Leo get comfortable and spread out. I talked to my tutor and she said it was totally fine. As long as Leo isn't blocking traffic or at risk of being stepped on, I don't really mind him having a bit more space. I also just thought I would share some tips for bringing your service dog to university. I generally like to send an email at the start of each semester to my lecturers and tutors, letting them know that I'll be bringing Leo. It just helps to make everyone aware and you can sort out any issues beforehand. I also like to be quite prepared and find my classrooms beforehand so that I'm not stressing out on the day and I know where I can take Leo for breaks or to go to the toilet. 
and I would definitely recommend planning out your timetable to have time for breaks and consider if your dog can handle a full day or if you need to make adjustments. I can definitely make a video dedicated to the process of bringing your service dog to university. If that's something you guys would like to see, just leave a comment. Today I'm going to be doing my uni work from home. I don't have to be um, on campus for any classes today, um, but I do have to watch a lecture um, later today. But I think I'm just going to do those readings that I've been meaning to get to for the last few days um, and anything else that I have to do for this week so that I'm all up to date for next week. <laughs> So I'm just taking a bit of a break from uni. I've done a few readings, but I'm gonna go out and get a bit of groceries. Leo's in the back there with his vest on. <laughs> All right, so let's go. things from the shop so it was a pretty short trip but I just got like some <laughs> frozen calamari and um, pizza so. <laughs> started taking Leo to a local dog park. I know that some handlers have had issues with dog parks, but I've actually found a bit of community with good, responsible dog owners. It's been nice for Leo to get a bit of socialization with other dogs since we don't live with any other dogs anymore. He grew up with my parents' dogs, so it's nice for him to still get the chance to play with some other dogs.
Okay, so I just got back from taking Leo out for a walk, but while we were walking, it started raining, so we got a bit wet <laughs> along the way, but um, I'm just going to go give Leo his dinner now. So I've finished with my uni stuff for the week. I think I'm just going to get my lecture slides ready for next week. But other than that, I'm just doing work over the weekend. So I think I will end the video there. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.